Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're going to show you how to make roasted goose with lemon and thyme stuffing. Step 1. You will need the following ingredients to serve 4 to 6 people. For the lemon and thyme stuffing, 450 grams of breadcrumbs, the rind of 2 lemons, 3 tablespoons of thyme, 2 eggs beaten, 3 tablespoons of butter, 2 onions chopped and salt and pepper. Here is a handy list of the stuffing ingredients. You will also need the following utensils. A saucepan, a wooden spoon, a loaf tin and some tin foil. Then for the roasted goose you will need a 4.2 kilo goose and salt and pepper to season. And these are the utensils. A chopping board, a wire rack, a roasting tray, a skewer, a metal spoon, a large serving platter, a knife, a carving knife, a carving fork and a pair of tongs. Step 2. Preheat the oven. Begin by setting the oven to 180 degrees centigrade or gas mark 4. Step 3. Prepare the goose. Firstly, using the large knife, remove the neck. Next, remove the excess fat and the flaps of skin from its behind. They can be torn off with your hands or you can use a knife. Then using the wooden skewer, lightly pierce the skin of the goose but not all the way down to the meat. This helps to release the oils and fats when cooking. Finally, season the top of the bird with salt and then pepper. Step 4. Season the underbelly. Place the goose on the wire rack upside down and season the underbelly of the bird with salt and pepper. Step 5. Roast the goose. Place the rack into the centre of the preheated oven with a baking tray underneath to catch the fat released over the cooking period and allow to roast for roughly two hours. Step 6. Make the stuffing. Whilst the goose is cooking, we can make the stuffing. Start by placing the pan on a medium heat. Add two tablespoons of butter and allow it to melt. When melted, spoon in the onions. Stir with your wooden spoon and sweat down for five minutes. Next, add the thyme and the lemon peel. Stir in and cook for another three to four minutes until the onions are soft and translucent and all the flavours are released. Step 7. Add the onions and eggs. Pour the onions into the bowl of breadcrumbs. Sprinkle over some salt and generously season with black pepper. Mix in well with your wooden spoon. Then add in the beaten eggs, which will bind the mixture together and stir well. Step 8. Grease the loaf tin. With your remaining butter, grease the bottom and sides of the loaf tin. Step 9. Transfer to the loaf tin. Begin to spoon the stuffing mix into the grease tin, gently pushing it down to create more room for the next batch. Finally, Cover the loaf tin completely with tin foil. Smooth it down and set it aside until we turn the goose. Step 10. Turn the goose. After an hour of cooking time, open the oven and pull out the wire rack with some protective cloth. Then grip the bird's cavity securely with the tongs and turn the goose over to an upright position. Then place the stuffing beside the goose to cook for the last hour. Step 11. Remove from the oven. After two hours of cooking, remove the stuffing from the oven. Then carefully pick up your goose with the tongs and remove that too. Discard the foil from the stuffing tin and set both aside to rest for roughly 30 minutes. Step 12. Serve. Your roasted goose and lemon and thyme stuffing are now ready to serve. 
For a truly delicious alternative to a Christmas turkey dinner, why not serve it with some lovely roasted potatoes and roasted parsnips, along with the flavoursome lemon and thyme stuffing, julienne carrots, Brussels sprouts, and a tangy apple sauce to bring out that extra flavour. All these extra recipes can be found here on the Video Jug website. Merry Christmas! And that's how to make roasted goose with lemon and thyme stuffing the Video Jug way. Enjoy!